I've got the new Viseart Trist eyeshadow palette to share with you guys today. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that Viseart is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow brands. Uh, their mattes are top-notch. They're they're way up here for me. It's it's the, uh, an eyeshadow that I can always rely on. It kind of like never fails me. <laughs> this palette was actually sent to me from Anastasia, the owner of Viseart herself. Uh, it came in this really pretty packaging and for one of my favorite brands that has been one of my favorite brands for quite a while to, you know, send me one of their products like that. It just really it just really gives me all the feel. So like a big thank you to Anastasia for sending that out to me. I actually did purchase another one of this same palette off of the Beautylish website. Beautylish is the only place that I've seen it available for sale right now. I'm not sure if it's going to be coming to other like uh, retailers or anything like that, but um, I purchased another one off of Beautylish to give to my mom for Valentine's Day. Uh, this, I did wear it on Valentine's Day too, and it's like the perfect like soft Valentine's Day like eyeshadow palette. I actually feel like um, if you're a makeup artist and you do a lot of bridal stuff, there's something about this type of, this palette and the color scheme in here that really like screams like soft, uh, springy, bridal type makeup. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do have this uh, palette on my eyes today and there will be a demo for that towards the end of the video if you're interested. And the Trist eyeshadow palette actually has the same packaging as the Golden Hour eyeshadow palette that came out. Um, what it's been a couple months I think that the golden hour has been out and I also really like this eyeshadow palette uh, the difference is the the reflective kind of tin uh, cover on the front is a rose gold as opposed to the golden hour which is like a, a brushed gold both of them have like a brushed metal feel they're really pretty they're very light and they feel very travel friendly the name of the eyeshadow palette is etched on the plate that is on the front it says tryst right there and then you open it up and there is a good size mirror in there that goes that far back and it's fastened like tight enough at the hinge where you can prop it open and like set the palette down and kind of use it to put your makeup on. I typically don't use the mirrors in palettes but it does say uh, Viseart on the mirror as well which I think is a nice touch. And then inside you have got nine eyeshadows. Each shadow is 0.054 ounces per shade, which is the same amount that's in the golden hour. And then in the standard 12 pan eyeshadow palettes, each shade is 0.07 ounces. So you're getting a little bit less product in this palette than you are in the standard 12 pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, there are two matte eyeshadows in here, which are these two right here. They are the shades Dangerous and Liaison, those two. I consider this shade right here called Illicit a matte too. It's got some really fine like little micro glitters or micro shimmers I guess. They're pretty fine but the base of it is a matte so when I, I've used this shade each time I've used this palette this um, illicit shade and when I apply it it does show up matte when I use it so I guess I would consider three mattes in the palette which would be these three right here. Um, the rest of them are all pretty metallic. Uh, the shade right here has got some very fine micro glitters in it. It's the shade Rendezvous. Now I've used this palette, I think this today has been like the fourth time I've used it because I've used it every single day since I've gotten it. <laughs> I've, I've purchased the uh, MAC and um, Jeremy Scott collection too and I've like been holding off on that giant like boombox eyeshadow palette because I just keep using this one. <laughs> it's just so like springy. It's got some springy pretty vibes and it's just like easy to use. So I've been using this guy. One of the things that I was worried about was not having kind of a transition shade that was deep enough to blend out the, the illicit shade right here that I put in the crease. But this color, this peachy matte shade right here actually busts this out really nicely. I had been using the Lily Lolo eyeshadow primer duo with this the other times that I've used it, but today I wanted to use it with the uh, Vizier eyeshadow primer that just came out. And I do like that eyeshadow primer. It's not as hydrating as uh, the eyeshadow primers that I typically use, like the NYX and the uh, Lily Lolo, but it doesn't, it adheres the shadows really well and makes them really long wearing. I don't get any creasing with it and it doesn't make my eyelids look crepey. So I prefer the Viseart one for long wear over even like the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion, which was my go-to for longevity before the Viseart. And I like the Viseart one more, but today I did use the Viseart eyeshadow primer and these blended great over it, but I did notice that I had a, a tiny bit more fallout with the Viseart eyeshadow primer than I did with like the Lily Lolo or the NYX because the, those two are really emollient and creamy and they adhere shadow really well, but they don't quite have the longevity as something like the Viseart or the Urban Decay primer potion. So that was just something that I noticed today was just a tiny bit of fallout when I used the Vizier primer as opposed to something like the Lily Lolo. Some of the shades in here feel dry to the touch, like the mattes and then this guy right here feels a little bit dry, but I feel it like that's kind of 
a little bit typical of Vizier eyeshadows and swatching them a lot of the times, at least from my experience, really doesn't do their eyeshadows justice. It's when you put a brush in there and you start putting them on the eyes that you can really feel the magic happen. Um, I know like um, when I did the Grand Pro the Viseart Grand Pro palette, you know, some of the swatches, people had said some things that they didn't swatch that well, and they don't swatch that well on the skin. It's when you use them that, again, that the magic happens. They blend really, really well. They're pigmented, they're easy to build, they're easy to mix shades. That's just something that I really love about Viseart's eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches. So here is the outside packaging, and then here is the back of the palette for a total of 0.49 ounces in the entire palette. And then you open it up and there is your mirror. Oh, oh it's going out of focus. <laughs> and then there are your nine eyeshadow shades. The two matte shades in here are these guys right here. And then I do consider this one a matte even though it's got some super, super fine uh, sparkles in it. Because when I apply it, it goes on as a matte eyeshadow for me. And then you've got these guys, this one, and then these bottom three are all a metallic type of finish. So let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches of these. So the first three shades. And then these next three. And then these bottom three shades. focus on my face. <laughs> And then here is a side by side of the Triss palette next to the Golden Hour palette for reference. So you can see that there's pinky purples in the Trist and more warm kind of neutrals in the Golden Hour. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I think I forgot to mention that this is $49. And again, the only place I've seen it so far is on the Beautylish website. The other times I wore this eyeshadow palette, I just stuck to this. But today, um, I thought like a perfect pairing with this eyeshadow palette is the Stila Glitter and Glow um, eyeshadow in Wanderlust. There's something about the duochrome of that eyeshadow and these colors that just look perfect to pair together and I really think that they paired well. So I did tap a little bit of that Stila Glitter and Glow over the top of my lid today so that's the super super high shine that you see but otherwise everything else came out of this eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested in seeing the look that's on my eyes and how this palette performed for me you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. To prime my lids, I'm actually going to use the new Vsart eyeshadow primer, and I'm going to use it on a Esum T43 brush. I'm just going to put a dash right on the brush, just a little bit like that, and then put it from the lash line to up underneath the brow. This this brush is kind of crazy because it's almost like it's almost like a finger, <laughs> the way this brush is shaped. And I really like it for putting on shadow primer. Then I finally found a dupe for the Goss 18 brush and that is the Hakuhodo BJ004G <laughs> brush. Um, I think that the Hakuhodo one is ever so slightly softer than the Wayne Goss one but the shape is very similar and they work a, uh, the, a lot alike. <laughs> um, I think that it appears on camera that the uh, Hakuhodo brush is a little bit smaller than the Goss one, but I think that's just because of the difference in um, bristle colors because they're pretty much the same brush. So that's the Hakuhodo BJ004G because I know a lot of people had been asking me um, for a dupe for that old Wayne Goss 18. 
So using that Hakuhoto brush, I'm going to go into the shade Flirt, which is up in the corner. I'm just going to start putting this guy on the lid. It's light enough, I'm going to go ahead and bring it further in too. Then using that same brush, I'm going to go into this shade called Paramore and kind of finish out the lid with that and blend it into the flirt shade. I've got just a teeny bit of fallout here. Then using a Chickahoe GSN 9 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Illicit and start in the crease with that guy. Then I'm going to take one of the new Sonia G brushes. This is the Worker One. And I'm going to go into the shade right there. It's a matte peach. It's called Liaison. And I'm going to start blending out the crease with that. Originally, I thought that that color might not be dark enough to blend out that the crease shade that I But I wore this on Valentine's Day, and it worked out really, really nice. This is like, this is like the perfect Valentine's Day type eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to put this through here. Then go back in with my GSN 9 and just blend this further into the page. Then I'm going to take the Isom G29 brush and go into the shade Dangerous right here, which is also a matte. I almost dropped the brush. I'm going to put this underneath the brow. I'm also going to blend it up in here. So there's the eyeshadow done. I do want to amp it up just a little bit because I think this is going to look really pretty with this palette. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in Wanderlust. Um, the, it's a duochrome type of shade that I just think is going to look really pretty tapped over the top of um, these colors. It like It's like a perfect shade to go with this. I'm just going to tap it in. Yeah, I love, oh my gosh, I love that. That is so pretty over with this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I've got Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in the shade Pink Venus. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this guy. And then to fill them in, I've got one of Guerlain's new uh, lipsticks from the Spring line. This is the Kiss Kiss in number 570 Coral. The packaging is like a pearly pink color. And then the bullet, you guys, is shaped like a heart. <laughs> um, I wore this yesterday, the same lip combination. I really liked it. My skin and my lips are like drier than the desert. It's like cold and dry and I'm like longing for spring. <laughs> So there is the overall finished look using the new Viseart Trist eyeshadow palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.